Hello students, now we will discuss about new topic Pisces. This belongs to super class. Super class taxa. Pisces is again classified into three different classes. They are termed as first one placodermy, chondrictis and osteictis. So Pisces is classified into three classes. One placodermy, second one chondrictis. Third one, Ostictus. Flacodermy, these are extinct fishes. Fishes basically, they are uh, means arrived or evoluted during the period of Devonian period in evolution. In When we are reading about evolution, we have few terms, the eras, the periods that they have been evolved in. Fishes are considered to be evolved in Devonian period. <coughs> So that time period is considered as golden period for fishes or golden period of fishes. So first one, placodermy. These fishes are extinct. Extinct fishes and they are available in form of fossils. So we can also say they are fossil fishes or fossil form of fishes. Their body is having bony plates and these placodermy fishes are considered to be first fresh water fishes. Example for placodermy is Climatis. First jawed fish. Next class is chondrictis. Chondrictis are cartilaginous fishes. These are also called as elasmobranchi. So chondrictis class of fishes are also termed as elasmobranchi. Next, <coughs> they are exclusively marine fishes. They are exclusively marine fishes. An endoskeleton is made up of cartilage. So they are called as cartilaginous fishes. Notochord is present throughout life. Along with vertebral column and jaws, this notochord also it persists. Once it is evolved during the embryonic stage but it persists throughout life. <coughs> the type of scales of these chondrictis are termed as placoid shaped scales. Scales are of placoid type. Placoid type means this shaped scales. are present in case of chondrictis. So this term is given in your NCRT. So we have to remember. Next, teeth are modified into this placoid. You can write placoid type of scales or scales are modified teeth. Next, Pairs of gills are 5 to 7 in number. 
gills are 5 to 7 in number. Next, mouth is on ventral surface uh, with head, jaw and very, uh, means jaw is very much powerful and these fishes are predaceous. Mouth is on ventral surface with powerful jaws. So, since they are having powerful jaw, they are also termed as predaceous. Means, they depend on other organs. Means, they are a very good hunters, we can say. Next, gills are covered by operculum. Operculum is a bony flap like structure that covers the gill slits. It is covered by or have operculum. Operculum is a covering. covering on the gill slits. Next, due to absence of uh, air bladder, they have to swim continuously to avoid sinking uh, of their body. So, uh, they do not have uh, means uh, only the air bladders. They have well developed lung system. Air bladders are absent. So, they have to swim continuously to avoid sinking. They have at the intestinal area some special structure called as a scroll valve or spiral valve. What is use of that structure? It increases the absorption area of the intestine. You can say it increases the surface area of the intestine. Intestine has scroll wall or spiral wall. It increases surface area of the intestine. Spiral wall means if this is the intestinal tube then the spiral wall structure is like this. It increases surface area of absorption for nutrients. Next, they have cloacal aperture. We know that cloaca is the common excretory outpour for digestive system, excretory system and a reproductive system. So, they have cloacal aperture. You can say cloacal aperture is present. Next, they have a special structures on the dorsal side of the head of head that is called as ampulla of a Lorenzi. So, what is use of this? It is considered as a electrostatic, sorry, electroreceptor organ. So, on a dorsal side, of body they have so it produces some of the electricity uh, that sometimes is used as defense mechanism for fishes they have electro receptor organ next <coughs> liver is considered as this is also called as ampulla of lorenzi Liver is bilobed. Male fishes have some extra structures called as claspers. These claspers are used during a reproduction or during copulation period. So if this is a fish, uh, 
on the means ventral side during at the opening of the cloacal aperture there are some structures like this like this these are called as claspers actually we don't need uh, that diagram just to understand what are claspers claspers are present only in male fishes that are used during copulation time uh fertilization is internal and they do not have larval forms and they are considered as chondrichthys or elasmobranchi fishes are considered as viviparous means they give directly birth to the babies they will not lay eggs so fertilization is internal they are viviparous means they give directly birth to the baby they do not lay eggs what are examples under chondrichthys or elasmobranchi fishes so one more point we will write they are considered as poikilotherms or cold blooded animals cold blooded animals or poikilotherms are those which change their body temperature according to surroundings now we will see examples of chondrichthys examples are scoliodon one fish pristis trigon tapedo next carcharodon carcharodon next chimeria now there are some common names for these types of examples scoliodon is also called as common indian shark or it is also called as dog fish next coming to pistis this is also called as saw fish means a uh, mouth is extended and it is having some uh, see if mouth is extended like this so a mouth is having some saw like teeth arrangement so fishes are having acrodont acrodont means they are not fitted uh, means in deep into the jaws such type of teeth are called as acrodont so here the teeth of fish is uh, they, are, they look like a saw so they are called as saw fish next coming to trigon trigon is also called as sting ray sting ray fishes sting ray these are also called as poison stings also means why the name uh, they have a poisonous sting this poisonous sting is present on dorsal side of the body on dorsal side next next coming to torpedo so this is not torpedo this is torpedo torpedo type of fish this is also called as electric ray there is an electric organ that is found which is modified muscle so uh, it gives some uh, shock like uh, uh, nature when uh, we touch that uh, electric organ so it is also called as electric Mm, electric of fish so how much volts of electricity is released means 100 to 400 volts of electricity so it is also called as electric electric ray 
has electric organ this electric organ it releases 100 to 400 volts of current so we feel some uh, current shock like a feeling next carte rodon carte rodon is also called as great white shark mostly from this sub topic examples and the extra structures that they are having is being framed into match the following type of questions so examples in this chapter totally is very much important next is a chimera chimera is also called as rat fish or king of herrings or it is also sometimes called as ghost fish rat fish or ghost fish or king of herrings so they uh, this chimera is considered as connecting link between ostrichthys and chondrichthys means connecting link between bony fishes and cartilaginous fishes so in this case of chimera cloaca is absent like that of bony fishes here we have seen there is an cloacal aperture but in case of chimera it is absent that can be considered as one of the ostrichthys type of fishes character so we are telling it is a connecting link between ostrichthys that is bony fishes and chondrichthys cartilaginous fishes these are few po important points regarding class placodermy which are extinct fossil fishes and chondrichthys nothing but cartilaginous fishes